Welcome back to Maximum Play. We're playing some Paper Mario. I'm not, but Katie is, and she's enjoying it so far. You gotta talk to Grandpa, man. You fell out of the air, too. Let's check this shit out, son. This block. This block shouldn't be here. It's a problem. It's a problem right now. You got you, you got to get the hammer. What is this Christopher walking? Yes. You, you know... You know, we need this hammer right now. But zero, zero, perfect. Good. <laughs> I love Christopher Walken. You ever seen a music video? Yeah, that was weird. The, when he dances and stuff? I thought it was goddamn amazing. Okay, you gotta find the hammer, go behind every bush. You found it on the first try! That was weird. That, oh my god, I didn't see that one lucky. You can press B. Hit some of the trees. There's a dolly. No. <laughs> you gotta give it back to the girl. When you find the dolly, you get a star piece from the lady. I mean, from the little girl. Okay. Also, collect as many coins as possible. You're gonna need them. That's what I learned from playing this game again. Alright. Hit the block. Hit the block. Keep hitting it. Keep hitting it. Oh my god. You need the coins. I'm doing it. You're doing it. Hit them coins. Aww. Aww. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of a unboner there. <laughs> eh. Eh. Anything in the foreground you can't shake, only like the bushes in there. You gotta break everything! Also, I like how the blocks just fade out of the existence. Yeah. <laughs> gotta go to that tree and block it. I already did. Hit and block it. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Oh, okay. Now you did. <laughs> okay. You see, you give the dolly back, you get a star piece. That's a gold thing that you saw beforehand. Mm. It uh, helps you get badges, actually. Right. So, I recommend getting as many as possible. Oh, God! This is my playground. You can't sit foot here. Kenny! <laughs> Stop it! You'll fight this kid a lot in okay. this game, too. He like randomly, every chapter you complete, or like random chapters, he'll come around and say, I want to challenge you again, and he'll become stronger and stronger and stronger. Right. I did a thing! Jump. <laughs> Just keep bashing the shit out of people. See so yeah, what, this is what I like, because there's strategy in it, and there's simple like, stats, it's not like, you know, all high tech and all high are much more in depth like Baldur's Gate or any of those RPGs, you know? Right. It's simple fun! And I like it, but there's a lot more depth to it, too. That's where I think South Park The Sacred Truth kind of succeeds, too. Yeah. In a way, it reminds me of Paper Mario, because your buddies... Mm hmm Actually, Paper Mario has a thousand-year door, to be specific, because your buddies have HP, but in here, your buddies don't. If they get attacked, they're out of commission for a number of turns. But it's a good game. I rent it. I, what? I rent it. Oh. Stick of truth. Yeah. And that's what I said in the review. Because oh. it's an alright game. Mm -hmm. It's just... It doesn't take long to beat or do any of the side missions. Yeah. It's not like, you know... Uh, the Witcher or Skyrim or Oblivion or any of those games where you could literally go throughout the intense world, you know? <laughs> My friend just got oblivion and all her status was goodbye, 300 hours. <laughs> I remember playing Oblivion for the 360 when that shit came out, like, almost 10 years ago. Holy yeah. fuck, it was that long. <laughs> you already got the... I know, but it's... it's <laughs> you got the heart. Those are really useful. Break the brick. Is there anything else? Yes. Okay. Why don't you take the spring? Okay! Whenever you see something like that, you go and get it. Gotcha! Jesus! You got an item! Jesus! Jesus told me so! <laughs> what was that? You ever seen that movie? You ever seen an American movie? No. Break it up, break it up, break it up, break it up, cause Jesus told me so! No. It's so Oh, you got a first strike! Yes. Good job. Thanks. It's a documentary about these two dudes who are trying to make a movie, but they like live with their like mother and parents gotcha. and all that stuff. Uh -huh. you, you heard about right, right? Yeah. It's really funny and good. It's like very heartwarming to, to see these people succeed. I get this. No. It's very heartwarming to see them 
succeed in making a movie that they wanted to do for a long time. Yeah. You gotta hit him with the hammer. You don't want to die from getting poked in the foot. Yeah, that would suck. Did you see the kitty? She's, she's strutting her stuff. I have a kitty. Her name is Sophie, and she's adorable. And I hug her and pet her and squeeze her. Hey. <laughs> Kitty's all like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> Break the brick. But there's a line that this there's this guy, this uncle, mm -hmm. who's like, he probably suffers from some sort of mental disease. You see, that's a star piece. Yeah. But. Uh, he, he's like, every time they try to make the film a scene with him, he's always like, this is for the birds. This is for the birds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's literally almost every fucking line. It's so funny. See, I like this because there's a lot of depth to the enemy compositions, too. Yeah. Oh, flying Goombas. You have to kill them flying. It's like Pokemon. Only not as bullshit sometimes. I hope our poopsie's doing okay. I hope so. Our poopsie. You can do it. I believe in you. There's a move that you can learn where you can, like, hit a button at the right time. Mm -hmm. Just like in South Park. Yeah. It's a block. Yeah. But, it, like, instead of, like, only taking, like, half damage or whatever you get. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I hated about the South Park game. You deflect one damage, like, off your current damage that you get. Right. But, like, you get so much damage when you're blocking. I'm just like, I should have just let it hit me. No, then it would kill you. I did that before when I was fighting. Uh, I know. I'm I was fighting uh, the boss from the abortion clinic. You all know what it is. Mm. That happened. That fight was a long time, actually. Yeah. Chloe Kardashian. She's a weird lady. I don't know why she exists. Look how happy they are. Yay. They're glad they got their grandpa back. I never noticed he had white eyebrows, too. Mm. There's this guy I used to work with, actually, at the movie theater. Mm -hmm. He had, I think, uh, I'm, I think I'm still friends with him. But he had a, uh, a black eyebrow and a white eyebrow. That's odd. It looked fucking cool, though. And, like, when I was working there, everyone was, like, trying to, like, betting money on how it happened. Mm-hmm. Remember that Cowboy Bebop episode where they're trying to figure out the lady's name? Yeah. That it was sort of like that, only yeah. how he got that. But he told me it's, he told me I think it's from a birth defect. Oh. You know what a badge is? Mm-hmm. They do special abilities. You don't need to learn how to wear a badge, right? No, okay. you'll tell me. Yeah, I'll tell you. You <laughs> got this. Okay. Yeah. It, it'll load. <laughs> it's a lot better than using a emulator. Because everything looks fragmented. Okay. We all know how to do it. No, I want to put it on! Nope. You have to do it. Put it on afterwards. It's fine. We know how to... F I know how to do this. I can tell Katie everything ever. We can beat Bowser with one hand time behind your back, man. You know that, man? Yeah. Yo, you so lucky. That's how Goombario talks. Yo, I, yeah. I, I wanna, I wanna go with Mario on this journey. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean, oh yeah, you will regret this. Mm. It's Shaq. A little bit. So basically, Princess Peach is Hugh Jackman, and we got Goombario as Shaq. Yes. Oh God. Here's Shaq from now on. <laughs> Out of nowhere, you oh see God, Shaq's I face. His name. Who? Spanish actor. He's very intimidating looking. Danny Trejo? Yeah, Mario. His Mario? Because he doesn't fucking say anything! That is true. Danny Trejo is. Okay, better put on that beach. I'm going. Let me put on that beach. Might as well check your. Never mind. Check my what? <laughs> Look at your map. This is the world you're gonna explore. Look how big Whee! it is. Look how fucking big it is! Look at it! The Ice World, the last chapter. Okay. So go into the Toad House because you're about to die. <sighs> yeah, it's like, oh, I got back. Can't you just heal me right away, you know? No. No, I have to go into the fucking building and do it. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Let me in bed. I want to sleep. 
I want to sleep, 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 sleep. Yes. 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 <laughs> I forgot what that's from because there's this character from a show who. Would, oh, it was fucking um, Billy and Mandy. Yeah. Oh, uh, he goes yes. You remember that guy? Yeah. Oh, his name is Fred Fred, 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 Fred Burger. Burger. Fred Fred Burger. Let me save. Yeah. Next time in Maximum Play, I tell you more about Fred Fred Burger and his glorious nose. Bye. <laughs>